Hello everyone, today we are going to see what is debugging and how to do it. Normally I don't like to tell the definitions in my video, but in order to understand the concept, just deeper look into it. You can see here, process of directing and removing of existing and potential errors called debugging. Right? First we have to direct and then we have to fix a solution. The thing is simple, if our application or software having bugs, we can't use it because it will behave unexpectedly and uh, sometimes crash will happen right in our application so in order to fix the bugs we won't know exactly which part of code causes the crash and unexpected behavior so i created a simple application in android studio so android studio is made by intel j so here using debugging tools easily we can identify the code working flow and figure it out what the issue just see a practical example you can see here in the xml i created one button and one text view here i declared the button and the text view and i initialize it here and cast it and i create one variable a i assign a value to 10 so in that button right so inside the button click you can see here if someone click the button this method will work right so after I click the button that will come the line number 28 inside that in the text view we set the text that calculate value from the another method which is returning the integer so finally we return a so a value come to the integer here this will take calculate finally we will get the calculate right in order to run the debugger, there are two options here. One is debug the app. So if you click this option, this will start the debugger from the scratch. So another one is attach debugger to the Android process. So if our application already running on the device, we can use the attach debugger to the currently running process. So this will take the current running process into our debugging process. So in order to debug the code, first we had to put the breakpoints. So if you click on line numbers, you can see the red color circle, right? Which is called breakpoints. So after we run the debugging, our application will stop on that specific line. From that line, we can analyze the values. So you can see here, I just set the breakpoint to 22, 23. And I'm going to set the breakpoint to 28 and 40 so let's see so there are two options here right as i mentioned before i i'm going to click that uh, debug tab so this will start the debugging from the scratch so while the, our app loading it will start the debugging right so you can see here in this place nothing i mean before the onCreate method which means before the 22 line there are nothing inside our activity main xml file right because after it's come to 22 line number 22 it start to initializing that button syntax view right you can see there are seven options here using this seven option we can control the debugging if we learn what is the functionality of these buttons then we can debug any kind of apps and go to know what exactly happening is so first i'm going to tell about this first option that's called step over right so if you hover the mouse you can see that shortcut is f8 right so it's sometimes it's different for the mac users and windows user but you can see this this ui is similar for the android right so you can use the, this ui that's a good option if you are familiar with your keyboard then you can use your keyboard shortcuts so what is step over this execute all line of code once so if you click the button, this will finish the execution of the current selected line and go to the next line. So if it is contained method call or object creation of a class, this will finish the current execution and go to the next line. So I just want to click this one. So you can see here, this is current, currently our debugging point in 22 line, right? You can see is highlighted by the blue color one, right? So what I'm going to do is I just going to click the step over. So so as I mentioned before, if I click this one, this will navigate to the next line, right? So just click this one, see? Our debugging point come to the next line, right? So which means our button complete the 
initialization right so if you click the mouse here you can see these are the properties we initialized uh, in this 22 line number right so so another method is just click again this cursor to that 23 line you can see in the bottom these are the properties they initialized right so we can see as of now uh, text v is not yet initialized because the line is currently in 23 so you can see but button is initialized right because it's come to 22 to 23 right so if you expand the button you can see all the properties which is which is initialized in line number 22 right so if you want more just click and explore this one so another thing you can see if i click another time i click the step over this will come to the line number 25 right just click see it's come to line number 25 okay see now our text view have some properties right id is text view you can see id is text view just go to and check id is text view right so this is how it's working right so button and text view is complete the initialization you can see in the left side bottom there are one button that's called resume program so if i click this one the app will resume right so so after i click this step over what will going to happen is that will go to the line number c 31 so after i click this one this will go to the default classes right see so i don't want these stupid things right so that's why i'm what i'm what i did is i just click the resume program so you can see this is complete the initialization right so i just close this one so this one is completed but you can you may wondering so why it's not come to this uh, these lines right these lines only execute when someone click the button right so if someone click the button then only that 28 line number hit right so just see what happened i just click the calculate okay see so after i click the calculate so this 28 line got hit right so you can see we are in the 28 line so if again i click this step over button so this will come to the next line right but i don't want to go to the next line so what i want to do is i want to go inside this method right so if you want to know what is inside happening this calculate method you can see that's why this second option here step into step into mean we are going to inside that method right so if i click this step into see that will come inside this calculate method right so again i can use this one i mean the first step over to come to next line right so if i click this step over this will come to the line number 36 right so this is how it's working so in as of now we can see v is zero right v is zero and uh, you can see this is not uh, our line this is generated by ide right so if i click the step over you can see this is a for loop right so just see what happened step over so if i click again click this one you know right how it's how the for loop works right again it come to for loop here and initialize by one and go to here right that's why we are we wrote the condition right so if i click this one again come here and you can see i is initialized by one again come this one now is two so this is how the step over method working so so let's see again i am going to resume this program see uh, if i again click resume you can see the execution in one line right i equal to three four and five right so we know right what happening here so if i click again i click the resume you can see this this directly come to the line number 42 and a is 15 which which means b v is 5 we are adding 10 so it's totally 15 right so this is how these two buttons working right so again i am going to click the debug so again i am going to click this same method and explaining how we can use other buttons so i am going to click the resume program so you can see this is 15 is set at by so again i click the c calculate again our line hit right so this time what i am going to do is i just set the breakpoint here okay 
so now i click step into which means this will come inside the calculate method okay so another thing i want to tell now i just remove this debugging point and you can see our next breakpoint is in 40 like line number 40 right so if i click this one that's called run to cursor this will re directly come to the line number 40 right so but you can see the method this run to cursor right so normally we are meaning cursor is this one right now you can see our mouse pointer right so if you have any debugging points if after you click this run to cursor that will come to the next debugging point so if i click this one definitely this will come to this line number 42 because the next debugging point which means our breakpoint in 42 right so uh, what i'm going to do is i just remove this one so but now you can see our cursor in line number 42 but if i click this one definitely this will come to line number 42 see because our cursor in the line number 42 so this is how the run to cursor method work so again i am going to click this resume program so again i am going to click the calculate button so again i click this step into method so now what i am going to do is i am going to explain what happening exactly in the for loop right i want to go to the next line so that's why i'm going to click the step over so here uh, you can see there are two options here right if i click the step into this is falsely step into this method right you can see step into like working like this because this is a basic functionality so if i click this uh, step into another time you can see this will come to the uh, 28 line number and if i again click this one first step into this will go to the default classes right so, but i don't want to do the default so i don't want this you know inner class i know not the inner classes actually i don't want to go to the inside this default classes right so i want to get out of from this that's why they have another option called step out so if you go anything like this kind of thing only using clicking this st four step into you can just click the step out to get out from that line right so you can see i again i am come to the line number 28 right there are another option called evaluate expression so if you click this one you can see there are one evaluate pop up right you know there are two options here right one is code fragment and second one is result here we can write it write all the methods which which is inside our class and we can see the value in the result section so you can see if we call the calculate method and i just evaluate you can see in the bottom it's showing the results as 15 right so but in case sometimes you might want to use the values right other string values and we can get that uh, exact value in that place for example our code in you can see here our code execution line is 28 right so as of as of this point we can get the previous value if you have any logics you can implement it here for example i am going to type button dot set on click listener new on click listener so likewise you can write the logic here and evaluate the logics so i just close it so another thing i want to tell sometimes after you run the debug if you type any additional codes like uh, integer t equal to zero so if you type like this if you the different circle right the different thing right so if you hold the mouse it will show cannot find the field t in class because we type after we run the debugging right so i hope you guys as a beginner you like this video and if you like this video just go to my youtube channel and hit the subscribe button and give some motivation to me to make some other good videos and thank you so much